Mob Psycho 102, Episode 1, Ripped Apart, Someone is Watching. Hey, how's it going everybody? Fomincio here, back at it once again with another video, the first video of 2019, and what a way to kick off the year. And with Mob Psycho 100 Season 2, I am very much looking forward to this. I'm, I'm giddy. I'm giddy with hype right now. Mob Psycho 100 is just a tremendous series. I really, really enjoyed it pretty much all the way through. It is a very important series to this channel as well. It is the first series that I covered here. I uh, kind of kick-started anime on this channel in a way. The, the idea of covering anime kind of started with Mob Psycho and... It's just, it, it's feel good. It is very feel good. It just, it feels nice to be back into this. And I'm just, I'm excited. I am really hyped. There's just so many good anime right now. Like, I, I, I'm sorry that this video has been delayed. It's been difficult to find the time and, and wh where to start. And then I forgot about Mob Psycho for a split second. And of course, that is how I start this year. And of course, Mob Psycho comes out on a day that I work. Mondays are not good for me. So these are going to be late reviews. I apologize for that. Uh, it's just these things happen. I'm not going to stress about it. It's a series that I want to cover. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this content. Hopefully it's something that can work here. Banana Fish kind of worked and those went up super late. So maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I think we should just jump straight into this episode. Ken Giddy with excitement. It's time for Mob Psycho 102, Episode 1. This is such a Hunter Hunter opening here. This is so cool. Hunter Toyapu. <laughs> That's cool. There's our boy. Oh, man. <laughs> this OST coming in too. Man, it's, it's really nice to be back. <laughs> uh, something tells me, yeah. Yo. This looks incredible, man, Bones. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo. <laughs> man, this looks cool. Yo. Yo, we're getting this opening? Yo! <laughs> I'm- I'm woken up. What is this opening? <laughs> this is fantastic. Man, I love this song so much. Yo! Are you kidding me? That looks so awesome. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Yes. Man, that might be one of the better openings I've ever seen. The aesthetic- Oh my god. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I love how this is connected to that. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, I remember that. Wow. Kenji Kawhi coming in with this OST. My goodness. I love how the, the <laughs> his hair was like wavy there. <laughs> Hardcore training montage. <laughs> Man, this direction. God. <laughs> and it's over. <laughs> oh no, Mob Coon. Yo. Yo, Mob getting the ladies. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I think it might, Mob. <laughs> I think you, you made a good decision there. This is delightful! Yo, Dimple! <laughs> <laughs> Man, what? Where did this come from? This is wild. I was not expecting this, man. No. Wow. 
This is so good. What in the world? My goodness, this OST. Oh my god! No way! Yo, what? Someone is watching? Yo! Uh, I have a lot to say about that. That was... Man, it's not what I expected. And that's a very good thing. Uh, I was expecting sort of just wacky action, you know, and, and it's not to say that the first season was just wacky action, you know, there were emotional things happening, there was a lot of death in the series, um, but I guess I wasn't expecting the, the second season to sort of start this way. I was kind of expecting it to be, again, a little more, uh, sort of how the episode began, you know, with all that action and just, oh my goodness, that set piece was just incredible, uh, but... I feel like so much happened in this episode. I feel like we, we really told a story. This episode had a very sort of beginning, middle, end, and they all just worked so well together. I really have to tip my hat off to not only the mangaka, but of course Bones in terms of the direction. There was a lot of just really interesting choices that they did here. A lot of just really good shots, really good animation. Obviously, that's going to be something I'm gonna be saying throughout this entire series. Um, it, I'm, I'm a little bit blown away. Like, I feel like this episode was, like, low-key one of the best episodes of anime I've seen in a long time. <laughs> and it's so weird because, again, like, it wasn't just a super action-packed, just mind-blowing episode. But the way, again, it was directed and the way the message uh, of, of our characters and, and the story, the way it was all conveyed uh, was just nothing short of brilliance. I, I honestly think that this episode was just incredible. I, I, I feel so much towards Mob as a character, uh, Shigeo as a character. I think that in this episode alone, I, I, have, I haven't felt this towards him before. And I love how that immediately into the second season, we are already exploring the character in different ways than we have before. This episode didn't feel like something like... It didn't feel like we were revisiting everyone. Like, hey, remember him? He's from the first season. Remember this dude? Hey, there's Dimple. Like, it didn't feel like that. It, it kind of did, but it did it in a really just... A really thoughtful way. It wasn't just like on the nose. Hey, yeah, these are all of our characters that you know and love. It was more so, these are the characters doing the things that you love. And, and that's why you're excited to see them. It's not just like characters popping in and out. It's, it's more important than that. It feels like they're... They're, they're all involved in this story and in, in, in the actual writing. Again, cohesion. Just just everything is just working together. I, I, I really like that. I truly do. Uh, there was a lot of just stellar gags in this episode. The stuff at the, at the school was some of my favorite. Uh, of course, the speech I thought was really funny. Just how the, the whole like training montage thing I thought was really cool. I forgot how good the Mob Psycho OST is. Kenji Kawai, I cannot say... Uh, his game enough just fantastic uh that training montage ost i need in my pocket i just i really like that part i like how we see mob actually trying and obviously failing miserably but you see that i don't know like it, i never thought of him to be a character that's just completely emotionless i always felt that there was there was he just again just doesn't know how to convey those emotions but in this episode i feel like that you see a lot of that more so than we've seen before uh, and that's just beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Obviously, the best part of this entire episode was when Mob pieced uh, back together um, the, the the woman's writing, the girl's writing, everything that she, everything that she worked on. He knew that she worked hard on that, and um, just incredible animation. Um, the way it was used, the way that, because even like the fight in the beginning, it was incredible. It was a really, really good fight, but it wasn't like mind-blowingly good. It was, it was good. And I definitely like, I got excited. That was a really excellent way to start the episode because this was, I, I don't want to say a slow episode, but it wasn't an action-packed one. And I think it's a good idea to kind of, if it is kind of that kind of episode, I think it's a good idea to start with action and start, you know, that's the way you establish the characters, you know, that's the way you establish Reagan, you know, him falling down and getting beaten up and then mob coming in and, and kicking ass like that's how you start it um but again not super over the top but then towards the end you use that animation and, and, and that hard work with a scene that that honestly did not need to look that good like that could have just been like whoosh, whoosh, there you go like it could have easily been that but bones does this time and time again 
put the work where it is needed. Uh, one of my favorite examples of that is there's a part of this series in, in My Hero Academia where you know there's the big All Might fight, and yes, that's an incredible moment in the series, but. That's not where Nakamura animated. That's not where, where he put in the work. Where he put in the work is when Bakugo and, and, and Deku fought, which felt more emotional. And there was somehow, like, I felt like there was more stakes there in a way. And, like, that that's Bones just in terms of direction. They know what to animate well. They know where to insert that Sakuga. And I much prefer that. I much prefer... That, I mean, obviously, it's going to look good, period. Like, let's get real. It is Bones. But to use, like, that staff at its fullest to the, uh, you know, emotional scenes like the one at the end. Oh, my God, the OST. I just, I got, I almost, I, tears. Like, they were close to, to, to breaking my eyes. I'm not going to lie. It's been a while since I've watched Mob Psycho, and... I thought that maybe I should, you know, should I rewatch the first season? Do I have to? Uh, you know, I remember everything. I covered this series on the channel. I talked about it every week, and I, you know, I didn't, I just didn't have the time to rewatch it. And I don't feel bad about that. It's like I feel like I'm, I'm in already. I don't feel lost at all. I feel like I'm in. I, I'm just welcomed back. And that's, that's a tremendous thing. That's how you do it with a second season, especially a second season that has taken a little bit to uh, produce and, and to get done, you know? Like, it, it has been a couple of years since Mob Psycho 1, and it's just, it's, it feels good. It really does. It feels good to be uh, in Mob Psycho 100 again. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts on the first episode of Mob Psycho 102. What do you think of the emotional side of things? Do you think that Mob is becoming a really good character, as I do? I think that he is becoming a more... more. And he's, he's getting those feelings, you know? He's starting to, like, actually become a person in a way. And you see his home life, too. I really like that part where, he, like, even his parents notice, like, hey, he's, like, he's eating the second serving, and he's, like, talking to everyone. Like, what's going on? I really like that. Just comment down below. Give me your thoughts on all of that. And, uh, yeah, you can hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. You can also subscribe if you want to be a part of this channel. I obviously have to thank each and every single one of you guys that have done those things. Uh, it means a lot to me. It truly does. Like, it feels good. It feels good. And I'm just really happy to be back at this YouTube thing again. Big things are coming in 2019. There's lots of more anime to watch. There's great games coming out. This is just going to be a fun, fun year. And I'm just, I'm giddy. Like, I feel that episode kind of reinvigorated my excitement to make YouTube videos the same way that the first season did. Just, man, it feels so good. That was just such a feel-good episode. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.